I'll be showing how an educator can create an assignment with a OneNote class notebook page. I'll show how to make that assignment to the student. The student will work on it and turn it in, and then the educator will grade it and give it back. Now I'm here in Microsoft Teams, and I'm in my class, Philosophy 101, and I'm gonna to go to the top here and click Assignments. Here's my list of assignments, and I'll be creating a new one. So I'm gonna click the Create button and choose Assignment. Now I'm just gonna fill this out with a title really quick. Socrates essay, we'll add a category. I'll paste the instructions really quick. Now, next is adding the resource. This is the important part. I'll click Add Resources. Now you see the list of OneDrive files. We're gonna click on Class Notebook. Now you need to make sure that you've already set up your Class Notebook. And in this video, I'm not going into the details of how Class Notebook works, because I'm assuming you somewhat know, but I'm gonna choose my content library. The reason I'm doing that is that I wanna pick a page I've already got ready that's in my content library. I'm gonna take this page and distribute it to all the students in my class to do that homework. So I'm gonna go into my homework essays section in the content library, and I've already prepared my Socrates page that I'm gonna to distribute to everyone else. I'll click this and I'll choose attach. Next step is where is this page going to go? I wanna give this page into everyone's little binders. And these sections here represent all the little binders in my student's class. I could even drill into a section group. So if I've structured by units, like some educators do, you can drill in and nest those, but we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna push this page into everyone's homework section. So I select homework and choose done. You can see now there's a OneNote page attached and it's gonna go into everyone's homework section and students will be able to edit this. They're obviously going to be working on it. The dot, dot, dot menu, I could remove that. I could open it in OneNote Online if I wanna see what it looks like. We'll just leave it as it is. We'll make this worth 20 points. I could add a rubric, which is really powerful. A lot of people have asked for rubrics and OneNote. You can now do a rubric with Teams and OneNote. So I could add a rubric if I wanted to. I won't add one today. I'm gonna to assign it to my Philosophy 101 class. If I wanted to give it to multiple classes, I could choose multiples here, but we'll keep it simple with just one. I could also differentiate and give it just to a couple of students, but we'll leave it for all students right now. And I'm gonna set the due date for Monday at, we'll leave it five o'clock, we'll leave it as is. Now, assignment will post immediately with late turn-ins allowed. If I click edit, and I'm gonna say, you know what, after this close date, after five o'clock, no one else can turn things in. I'm gonna click done, so that's a hard date. What happens in OneNote is if it goes past five o'clock on Monday, September 7th, that student will no longer be able to edit that page in OneNote. It automatically locks the page. A really nice feature that not everyone who uses OneNote with Teams knows about. There used to be page locking and still is in standalone OneNote. Now we have automatic page locking if there's no late turn in allowed on this assignment. So our assignment is ready to go. I'm gonna click assign. Now that goes out to everyone in the class. One new feature I briefly wanna show because it just rolled out is the ability to create a new page as a OneNote class notebook page. So I'm not gonna create the whole assignment, but I'm gonna go create assignment. Now let's say I was gonna make an assignment and I'm just gonna to go to add resources. This is a new assignment. And if I go to new file, I wanna create a brand new page and distribute it to all my students. You'll notice there's this new OneNote class notebook page here. And if I click that, maybe I wanna have them write an essay on Hume. I'll give Hume essay, and I'm gonna put this page into my own content library under homework essays, and I'll hit next. And I'm gonna distribute it into everyone's homework section just like before, and hit attach. What this does is create a blank page in my content library that will then get distributed to students. And I can go and edit that page. So I'll click the dot, 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 and say open in OneNote online. You can see I created a blank page called Hume Essay. I'm just gonna paste my instructions really quick. Here are my instructions. Got a nice picture of David Hume. And I'm gonna go back to my philosophy class. Now, this is creating a brand new page in the content library and it's gonna distribute it to all my students. So that's a nice feature we've recently added. I'll just discard this one because we're not gonna create another assignment. I've pushed out my Socrates essay. Now let's sign in as a student and fill that out. And we'll see what that looks like to fill it out and then turn in that OneNote page. Now I'm signed into the class as Alex, and I see there's a notification on moral philosophy. Oh, there's my assignment, that Socrates essay. So I'm gonna click view assignment. Here's my assignment. There's a page attached for my teacher. There's instructions on an essay. So I'm gonna open up that OneNote page. So here's the page from my teacher, the background, my assignment, nice picture of Socrates. So I'm Alex, I'm amazing. I'm just gonna finish this really fast. And my assignment is all done. So now what I'm gonna do is close this because I've finished my assignment. 
and I'm going to go in the upper right and click turn in. Note, I don't have to add any work. It's already in my OneNote. The page is there. I just click turn in. Now, as we mentioned before, if I was late on this and it passed the due date, which was Monday at 5 p.m., if I opened up this OneNote page, my OneNote would be read only. It's like, oh, you can't edit that anymore. There was a hard date. Whatever you had in your OneNote, that's what the final thing is. Now, we're going to flip back to Kara and we're going to open up this OneNote page and grade it and give feedback in the speed grader. Now I'm signed back in as Kara, the educator, and I'm going to go to assignments and I'm going to give feedback on the turned in OneNote page. So I'll go down to Socrates essay. It looks like one out of 25 turned it in. That's probably my star student, Alex. So I'm going to scroll down and look at that. Alex has turned it in. So I'll click on Alex and it brings up the page that Alex just worked on. Now, as an educator, I can scroll down. I'm using the speed grader and I can draw. I want to circle some stuff here. I can give stickers. I can even insert audio. Maybe I want to give him audio feedback. I'll click insert and then audio and we'll give it right here. Great job on your essay, Alex. I'm really impressed. There's the audio recording and because he's amazing, let's give him a sticker. Here's a nice one. So I gave Alex a sticker. I'll give some feedback. Great job. And he gets 20 out of 20 points. If I had a rubric, I could attach the rubric and do that right in here against that OneNote page and I'll click return. Okay, we're all set. Now you know how assignments in OneNote and Teams work all together. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you wanna keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.